hello traders it's samurai trader here just giving a quick recap on a live trade that I have underway at the moment it's uh, around a little after 7 p.m. here in Australia at the moment very early of course uh, in the USA and this is really a great pivot bounce to be showing you as an example now most of you know that I highly recommend that as for particularly for new traders that you wait for the zero lag to actually turn and roll over and turn magenta um, I generally or ne don't necessarily always wait for that to happen because one thing I know that I have on my side is something called probabilities and as you gain more confidence you won't rely on the zero lag but for a newer trader I highly recommend you wait for the zero lag it will just keep you out of a couple more losing trades and of course for newer traders it tends to shake your confidence a little uh, particularly in your early days or if you've had a bad trot or maybe trading hasn't been working out for you you um, uh, really you have one or two losing trades and it really shakes your confidence I was just talking to a new trader today and as I was pointing out and going through these screenshots with him very rarely do I have and let me touch wood here <laughs> touch wood very rarely do I have two losing trades in a row now over a period of time of course it gives you a huge amount of confidence now the reason this is a great pivot trade is if we look at the start of a day here after the US market closed over to the far right let me actually just go here and just bring up the um, uh, a large pointer here so we can see here down under in Australia here the market opens about 9 a.m. Uh, um, Australian time we've had a couple of trading opportunities very nice pivot bounce off here as well which carried right through yet another nice pivot bounce here you had a t10 so you had a pivot bounce a t10 a nice pivot bounce as well as a t2 just here so t10 t2 here uh, you've got here of course a nice classic uh, t1 and a t2 now here your entry I would have recommended for a newer trader you wait until you have a cyan here until it turns your, your zero lag so your entry would have been here for the more experienced traders right here just getting back to the confidence oh and, and of course down here a lovely pivot bounce here as well so and of course we've got this pivot bounce here so so far today if you had have taken all of these trades you uh, you would be up around four hundred dollars per contract with no more than a two percent risk now in this particular case on this trade I'm in now I've got a very a, a nice tight stop just above the pivot here we can see so I've got a stop of around uh, 10 ticks and I'm targeting in this particular case 16 ticks I believe it may even drop even further however uh, as I mentioned it's uh, now 7 past 8 p.m. and I have a family I want to go back downstairs as most of you that follow me on YouTube and for my uh, students know that I'm up at 3 30 a.m. each morning so uh, I just saw this trade and I thought I'd jump in because your pivot bounces when you've got these conditions are a very high probability trade once again just to go through why nice pivot bounce off the pivot lovely divergence here on our MACD uh, it's also a t89 that is my entry is outside uh, the channel I don't know whether I mentioned this as well but my only criticism I'd give of myself here was um, I entered before candle had closed so I saw it setting up and I jumped in fairly quickly traders um, uh, just think very very carefully before you enter a trade I should have waited for that candle to actually close so um, I want to see the candles close clearly in the direction of my trend but just look at these once again as a pivot bounce we're almost filled here pivot bounce here pivot bounce pivot bounce pivot bounce so it's a it's a very very high quality trade here of course you've got uh, getting back to this a nice t1 and a t2 t2 or a slingshot and uh, a t10 so I'll just put this on hold for a moment traders and uh, because this might take five minutes it could take five seconds it might take another five minutes and uh, I'll just come back when this is delivered as I was saying traders it's another three or four minutes has passed and we're still just ticking around this may very well go back up and test the high again before it falls away uh, 
we've got um, some great movement there of course on our platinum and a, a critical factor and this is particularly for veneer traders is as you hear me preach uh, on, a, on a on a daily basis that this is a counter trend trade that we're entering to right now is for all brand new traders I highly recommend you trade with a trend you trend trade only with one setup for T1 or the T2 until you master that particular setup once you've mastered that setup you then move on to your next trend trading strategy and as you your account grows as your confidence grows you then start to trade different strategies now in total I have 13 or 14 different setups and strategies that I use uh, from T7s which is a, a double top to the pivot bounces uh, to the T2s which is a slingshot the T10s now over a period of time of course you learn what these are uh, but initially become a specialist that is I call myself a sniper trader that is I'm waiting for the ideal setup now we're ticking down come on just oh, it's still waiting for us to deliver but getting back to it become a sniper that's the best way to learn how to trade master one trading setup and do not start with your trading by counter trend trading and the reason being is counter trend trading can be higher risk uh, it also it in my opinion there are more rules to follow when you're counter trend trading than say trading with the trend and the trend of course is a lot safer now here we're just um, filling the contracts now now I'm going to bring my stop down the break even plus one now let's just go break even still got a few contracts haven't been filled uh, so uh, I've got um, some of my contracts have been filled at this level I've got four to go so, um, so come on tick back down and fill that and I'll go back down and spend time with my family now this is what trading is all about it's about having quality time quality family time and that's what I have as a trader my wife might disagree with that because I get up so early in the morning but I love trading of course the US session is where we get great volume so if we look to the far left here of the screen this is the entire day's action um, order uh, filled and here we see here okay so it's delivered I've limited out all 10 contracts $80 a contract less brokerage of course so it's so just under um, or yeah, just slightly under under uh, what's at uh, $76 per contract net but to give you an idea on the Nasdaq today there's um, been only 17 18,000 contracts have traded between the open this morning and today so you can see you've we've had um, uh, very very low volume about 10% of the volume that we experience in the US session uh, I love the Nasdaq uh, uh, I think it's a great market even in the slow Australian session most days you'll get these sorts of moves um, and uh, it's great and of course if you've got the YM now I'll give you an example by the way traders on the YM today we've traded uh, close to 18,000 contracts around the same amount where when you're trading the YM the Dow during the US session a lot less trade compared to um, uh, the Nasdaq so uh, that is just a quick recap I wanted to uh, record this because I saw the trade a quick opportunity trade but that um, kicks my morning off so I'll be off to uh, get some sleep in a couple of hours time and um, up bright and early for another big trading day uh, and just on that um, I don't think there were any actually no that's not true actually there are some red flags tonight we've got some major announcements coming out of the US on if I remember correctly we've got um, uh, retail sales and a couple of other things in a few hours time so there are things that you want to check and uh, immediately you put your screen on get ready to start trading traders and look at this bounce we're now getting um, the channel and if we look at the channel I've got here notice how we come down and bounce out of a channel you'll see this happen likewise our next bounce point will be once this falls down very good chance it'll come back down and it will test our 89 EMA down here and if I had more time I actually would have stayed in this trade for another five or six maybe eight ticks more because the next logical place for this in my opinion uh, and once again my opinion doesn't mean a whole lot when it comes to the market but maybe the 89 it may come down and bounce off the 89 
so I'm starting to rave a little bit now so I'll sign off traders and hopefully um, this was educational talk soon